Sylvester Stallone right now is pissing a B-I-T-C-H about him not owning Rocky or being part of the rights, if I'm not mistaken, for the new uh, Creed film. So, uh, Michael B. Jordan's directing it, but he's pissed off that he has no hand in it. But if you listen to what Sylvester Stallone's been saying for a while, he's been saying he this is um, Michael B. Jordan's thing now, his character's thing, he's gonna step out of it. But I guess he had a change of heart, and now he's back. Okay, so long story short, he has no rights to this film. He's pissing the B-I-T-C-H that he has no rights. <laughs> if it was me, and I was Sylvester Stallone, and being the smart man that I am, I would have went ahead and renegotiated my contract around Rocky 2 or 3. Cool in 3. 3 popped off big. I would have renegotiated my contract and definitely have somehow gotten rights to uh, the Rocky franchise, yeah. hands down. Yeah. But this is what bothers me about a lot of these actors, whether in any type of entertainment business, when things don't go their way, then they blame the company. Yeah. It's like, dude, you're Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. You, you should have, at, at the peak of your thing, you got to get him for everything is worth. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I understand, like, in the, from the, you know, the onset, he had, like, $100 to his name when he did at the first time, Rocky. Yes. They had him over a barrel. He sold his dog. Yeah. I think he so, was sleeping out of his car So and that, I, mean, I agree. I would have did the same thing. But by the third movie, like you're saying, I yeah, mean, he's man, already a millionaire on. at this point. The, Dude, the franchise is huge. He has, uh, he has negotiation, you know. Let's not even include the whole point where he was still doing, like, Rambo and all that Oh, stuff. yeah. So he was, like, a mega star. He's a big star. He was one that's of the like, biggest stars. Bro, that's like The Rock right now wanting a piece of the franchise of sure. uh, anything. He can right. do, if he's killing, give, give him what he wants. So yeah, man, I think The Rock is... The Rock's making all the moves that these older 80s that's what actors I'm saying. did not think that's to make. That's what I'm saying, yeah. yo. So what I'm thinking of, what I'm saying basically is that Sylvester Stallone F-U-C-K'd himself. And now he's pointing the finger. You feel what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So it's like, dude, it is what it is. Sometimes yeah, it's, it's like, I, it yeah, I don't really care so much about the crocodile tears coming from Stallone. I, I love the guy. He's made some fantastic movies. Let's move on. But the whole point, too, he's trying to dog Creed 3, which I don't like. It's like he's really talking about like I'm not gonna go see it. So it's not, but did you say it's not because of Michael B. Jordan? It's no, it's entirely not because, Jordan, because no. the producer, the producer on this thing yeah, is the same the guy that's been you know making money off of this dude for a century, and he's also making the Ivan Drago spinoff movie. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. So Stallone's kind of pissed because he didn't get any sort of uh, consult about it, and he yeah. wasn't in the you know whatever. I don't but know. but another thing to that too though, Sylvester Stallone once again. He said that, yo, he'll work on Creed 4 as long as this producer guy is not in it. So it's right. like, dude, like, do you want to be down or you don't want to yeah. be down? Like, which one is it here? Like, you feel what I'm saying? He but just, see, even in Creed 2, Creed he, two was trash, he felt like, I didn't think it was trash, but I, I was definitely trash. thought it was a, a step down from Creed. Creed 1 was really And, and I good. think it was a step down, not because of Michael B. Jordan. He was putting in the work. Mm -hmm. But Stallone was like sleeping through all of his scenes. He was dragging. He, he was he definitely, was especially yeah, in that final dragging. fight, I was expecting him to be like Mickey and be like, yeah. knock him out! Yeah, but he was I back kind of like, oh, hey, yeah, you... oh, good job. I'm going I'm to be funny though, Sylvester Stallone did give a good reference for people who watch boxing. He was like, he read the script for Creed 3, and when he was reading it, he was like, okay, so where do I fit in in here? Oh. And he said, basically, he, he uh, compared it to, I'm just going to carry the spit bucket. So if anybody who knows boxing, like the guy who carries the spit bucket is like the worst. He's just yeah. Like, he's, he's carried the spit bucket. Unsung like, hero. Yeah, basically. So he's like, I'm just carrying the spit. I thought that was funny. Do you so think they kill him? Bucket. Do you think he's killed off? I think he's dead. Yeah. 100%. You think he goes? You think Creed goes to like uh, Adonis goes to like his grave? Uh, no. You know what I think they're gonna do? So they can just in case of a Creed four, I think they're gonna say that he's off to like a home or sure, something of sure. that nature. Like he's at a home or he's just like yeah, he's off the grid. Yeah, he's, he's off gone. the grid. Yeah, he's, he's off the grid. <laughs> Like, yeah, grid. like, he's off the grid. Like, Rocky's <laughs> off the grid. Because I don't think they're going to, in my personal opinion, and being a good business person, if I was them, I wouldn't kill him off. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Off. I agree. Even yeah, though don't he's... do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do yeah, that. He's back at his restaurant. He's doing good things. Yeah, whatever. don't yeah. kill him off. Like, I think this is one segment where he's just not going to be a part of it. Yeah. But he said he'll come back for Creed Four. But like I said, man, make up your mind, bro. Or which one are you going to do? Oh, God. I should point out that we are in, like, folding chairs right now. It's just a bad scenario. we got to get some better chairs in here. Dude, well, we got to get a better setup. Once again, this reminds me of if I was kidnapping somebody and I was holding my gunpoint. Yeah. Well, yeah. Why don't we try to make it comfortable? That's cool.